What if I tell you that in a distant space, there's almost a copy of the Milky Way galaxy with a very sun-like star and a very Earth-like planet with an almost copy of you? Like fingerprints or snowflakes, our galaxy with all the other galaxies. There are many of them out there, and they can have a lot of characteristics in common. But no two are exactly alike, or at least that's what scientists thought until they discovered this galaxy. What they found was a shocker. Behold yourself for a story that almost sounds like a sci-fi movie plot. Let's begin. There is a replica of our Milky Way, and the revelation got the astronomers flummoxed. The Milky Way galaxy has a large spiral system consisting of several hundred billion stars, one of which is the Sun. It gets its name from the Milky Way, a regularly shaped belt of stars and gas clouds seen from Earth and spans the night sky. Although Earth is located within the Milky Way galaxy, sometimes simply known as a galaxy, astronomers do not fully comprehend its nature as they do other external star systems. For the first time, astronomers have discovered two far-flung galaxies that are a near-perfect match for Milky Way. Although spiral galaxies like the Milky Way are common in the cosmos, the newly discovered twins also have other important characteristics. For instance, both feature satellite galaxies similar to the Milky Way's close neighbors, the large and small Magellanic Clouds. Astronomers have used computer simulations of how galaxies swarm. Unfortunately, they don't seem to produce many examples similar to the Milky Way and its surroundings, leading astronomers to predict that they are quite rare. But astronomers haven't been able to tell just how rare they are until now. According to a study led by Aaron Robertson of the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, and the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, the new survey looks at hundreds of thousands of galaxies. Just 3% of galaxies like the Milky Way contain companion galaxies like the Magellanic Clouds. They discovered 14 galaxy systems related to Rhone, with two being nearly exact matches. Robertson and his colleagues were looking over data from the Galaxy and Mass Assembly Survey, which maps out about 3,400 galaxies in the local universe, and they weren't expecting to find any true Milky Way twins. He had never found another galaxy system like the Milky Way before, which is not surprising considering how hard there is to spot. It's possible to do this type of analysis, which led Robert Thurm and his team to the discovery recently. The research team needed telescopes good enough to detect not just galaxies, but their faint companions. They needed to look at large sections of the sky, and most of all, they needed to make sure no galaxies were missed in the survey. The Milky Way is locked in a cosmic dance with the large and small Magellanic Clouds, which are visible in the southern hemisphere's night sky. The galaxy you live in is perfectly typical, but the nearby Magellanic clouds are a rare and possibly short-lived occurrence that will disappear in a few billion years. Gazing into the universe is almost like looking into the Voronoi mirror. That's because gravity wraps the dimensions of space, creating optical illusions. This phenomenon, called gravitational lensing, was predicated to exist by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in the early 20th century. The mathematics showed that any massive celestial object could bend passing light rays like a glass lens bends light in a telescope or microscope. A gravitational lens can occur when a huge amount of matter is like. A cluster of galaxies creates a gravitational field that's so powerful, and the magnitude of it says it all. It distorts and magnifies the light from distant galaxies behind it, but in the same line of sight. This is like looking through a huge magnifying glass kept in space. It allows researchers to study the details of earlier galaxies too far away to be seen with current technology and telescopes. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers stumbled upon one such odd shape. The scientists working on this phenomenon spotted two bright linear objects that appeared to be mirror images of each other. Astronomers were amazed that they had spotted a duplicate in the universe. The features that befuddled astronomers, and it took them several years to unravel the mystery. Finally, with the help of two gravitational lensing experts, the researchers determined that the three objects had distorted images of a faraway, undiscovered galaxy. But there was more to it. There was more to where that came from. The surprise was that the linear objects matched copies of each other, a rare occurrence caused by the alignment precise enough for the background galaxy in the full. After chasing dead-end theories, soliciting help from colleagues and doing lots of head-scratching, Hamilton and the growing team led by Richard Griffiths of the University of Hawaii, Hilo finally put together all of the clues to solve the mystery. The linear objects were the stretched images of a gravitational lens of that distant galaxy located more than 11 billion light years away. They appeared to be mirror images of each other, but this rare phenomenon wasn't well known. When Hamilton spotted the strange linear features in 2013, there were many questions Hamilton could not answer. 
So the object was named Hamilton's Object and was also discovered by astronomer Timothy Hamilton of Shawnee State University by accident. In data obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope nearly a decade ago, he found that the two galaxies appeared to be the same shape and had the same nearly parallel dark streaks across the galactic bulge, the central region of the galaxy where most of the stars lived. A precise alignment between a background galaxy and a foreground galaxy cluster produced twin magnified copies of the same image of the remote galaxy. This rare phenomenon occurred because the background galaxy straddled a ripple in the fabric of space. This ripple is an area of most lavish magnification caused by the gravity of thick amounts of dark matter. The unseen glue that makes up most of the universe's masses light from distant galaxies passes through the cluster. Two mirror images are produced along this ripple, and a third image can be seen off to the site. However, it wasn't until 2015 seen that a more plausible answer emerged on seeing Hamilton present his object at a meeting. As astronomer Richard Griffiths of the University of Hawaii suggested, that the culprit might be a rare phenomenon of gravitational lensing. And it made a lot more sense than two identical galaxies. While the Hamilton object resulted from gravitational lensing, astronomers spotted another galaxy in the distant universe that appeared to be duplicated in the night sky at least 12 times. The unusual sight was captured using the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and hinted towards giving scientists a better understanding of the early universe. The sunburst arc is what it's called. It's almost 1 billion light years away. The sunburst arc galaxy is just one singular galaxy, but duplicates appear multiple times in the captured image due to strong gravitational lensing. This has resulted in light arcs that you can spot on the unique image. One arc is in the lower left, and three others are in the top right. The galaxy appears multiple times within each arc. The Hubble telescope uses a cosmic magnifying lens for purposes like these. However, the scientists observing the sunburst arc think it was created in an era that began only 150 million years after the Big Bang. When you consider that scientists tend to think that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, that shows how old the sunburn arc is. Einstein's notebooks indicate that if an observer has located the correct distance, the deflected light rays around the celestial object will converge to make a magnified image. This is a splendor known as the strong gravitational lens. For example, to use the sun as a gravitational lens to form an image of a more distant celestial object, an observer would have to be at least 550 times farther from the sun and the Earth. Light rays are not deflected enough to stretch the image when this is observed in a weak gravitational lens. Instead, they introduce light distortions. Format tomography of the dark matter structures with a sufficient amount of background galaxies at different redshifts. Nuclear will do this by measuring the distortions of 1-5 billion background galaxies stretching across 10 billion light years of the universe to create a three-dimensional view of the dark matter distribution of our universe. The galaxies that are found to be identical to our Milky Way open a wide range of possibilities about what could exist in the universe. Astronomers are still discovering new galaxies in the universe through different techniques. What do you think of the new replica of the Milky Way galaxy? Comment your views and subscribe for more.